Welcome to Saving the Past. I am GD. Glad you could all join me today. Uh, well, today is April 3rd, 2020, and it is currently 5.18 a.m. Rocky Mountain Time. I got a little bit behind here this morning reading emails, so <clears throat> as I often say, I'm going to try and keep this brief, but um, I have a lot to catch up on here today, so I am going to try and keep it brief. So I'm not going to go into depth on the gold and silver charts here today, but I am going to share with you uh, what's going on right now. Uh, I am on the gold chart and we are currently at 1611.43. We opened at 1612.82. We hit a high of 1618.27 and a low of 1606.60. Um, <clears throat> when we look at the MACD, it is still um, showing it's in positive uh, movement and uh, the relative strength index is showing a little bit of a downturn right now, but um, this is all looking very positive. It's still hanging within um, the support and resistance levels, so I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing there. And I know a lot of you think that um, this isn't really that important anymore, but it is important. And um, you will see how that plays out here over the next couple of months. And the second part of this video, um, <clears throat> I'm going to just briefly touch over a few things about the COMEX. I've got a couple of articles here that I'm going to post down below that um, I think will be very helpful to you, but let's take a look at the silver uh, chart here right now. And we are at 1437. It's been bouncing 1437 to 1438. We opened at 1445, hit a high of 1453 and a low of 1429. Um, I had mentioned last week that I thought both gold and silver would be going a little sideways here for a while, or maybe that was the beginning of this week. I can't remember. But in any case, it is showing a sideways pattern. Um, and when you so when you get these sideways patterns that um, move like this, uh, this could break to the upside or the downside. Um, but <clears throat> because this is showing positive and the MACD is still here right now, I'm going to tend to think, and turning down a little bit on the um, relative strength, I'm thinking this is going to continue in the sideways movement here for a little while longer before it shows what direction it wants to go in. Uh, but I do believe that um, probably right now, uh, again, you know, with the economy the way it is, I tend to think that um, silver is going to remain a little bit under pressure and gold is still the metal that people are going to be using for that hedge. Uh, but eventually silver is going to break out and as it has in many times in the past, when it finally does break out, it's going to make a fairly decent move upward. But as I had said um, in the past, <clears throat> um, some of the things that you have to keep in mind is, is that uh, the silver is a industrial metal. And until we get to the point where we have um, actually settled down this economy and start showing uh, usage for silver again in industry, it's going to remain under pressure. And how long that's going to be? It's hard to tell right now because we've got a economy right now that's very different than anything we've seen in the past. But I moved over here to um, the calendars, the economic calendars uh, that I've shared with you folks in the past. And you probably have all heard this already, and it, it obviously uh, was bound to happen. We have hit, uh, yesterday's numbers came out yesterday, and we hit 6.6 .6 million weekly jobless claims, which uh, that, with what had happened previously, is now pushing us close to 10 million weekly jobless claims over the past couple of weeks. This, if I'm not mistaken, is an all-time high. Uh, 
<clears throat> the trade deficit was down 39.9 billion, which would be expected. Um, you know, there's very little trade going on right now around the world. But today we have a number of important um, <clears throat> important data that's going to come out. We got non-farm payrolls. We've got the unemployment rate, uh, average hourly earnings. You know, all these are going to be affected here today, and it's going to affect the price of gold and silver. Um, and again, I'm moving quickly through all these today because um, I got kind of a little bit behind here, but I, I want to share a few articles with you. This is from a trade journal that um, I get, uh, National Jeweler. And again, I will put links down below. Uh, this particular article is about um, United Precious Metals Refining. And I used to work with these people when um, I had my business. So uh, I think uh, this is probably an interesting article that um, you may want to read. It's very short. Uh, United Precious Metals Refining is still open. Of course, you folks wouldn't really care about that. But the one thing that um, in the article here that is really good to see is the refiner said it is now delivering gold to the COMEX a market that trades futures metals such as gold, silver, copper, and aluminum for future deliveries to help offset the sh shortage from stalled overseas deliveries. So this is a very good sign. And um, normally, um, United Precious Metals uh, refining would be using this metal themselves uh, to produce jewelry with. Uh, and again, they are a refiner, so they take in metal from <clears throat> jewelers and uh, other manufacturers from all over the world and they convert it over to uh, usable metal that they often use for making jewelry but um, they also do supply large bars to the comex for uh, trading uh, for storage so anyway there's a short article there and then one more article here that um, I thought was kind of interesting Th that that previous article was just written yesterday, by the way. Um, but this article here goes back to July 25th, 2013, and it's an explanation of the comics and how it actually works. And I think it's a great article. Um, I think it's one that might help clear up a little bit of confusion about how the COMEX actually does work, and um, it may be well worth reading to you folks. Okay, there's one more thing I want to touch on today, and um, again, it's not often that I say I'm going to keep these brief, and I do, but today I am keeping it brief. I would like your help with something here today, folks. Um, I realize that I only have a little over 650 subscribers, but... Um, if each and every one of you answer this question, it will help not only me, but others there. Um, and it's a very short question. I'd love to see your comments down below. Um, most Americans are going to be expecting a check in the mail from the government. Uh, and I'm just curious how you are planning on using that money. Um, are you going to save it? Are you gonna pay down debt? You're going to use it for uh, making a major purchase, or are you going to use it for buying more gold and silver? Very simple. Um, this answer could help us get a determination of whether this, and again, this is a small survey, and I'm sure most of you are not going to answer it. I would hope that you would. But if enough of you answer it, it could give us some kind of an idea of whether this um, policy that's being put out there now for um, trying to save the economy is actually going to work or not. Again, it's going to be a very small sampling. I know that it's not going to hold a lot of value in that determination, but it could give us a little bit of um, an idea of whether this economic stimulus is actually going to work or not. Um, so if you don't mind answering that question down there, I really appreciate it. And leave any other comments that you may have as to what direction you think gold and silver is going to go in right now. Um, whether you believe that um, the spot prices are going to move up or down, and whether you believe the physical prices are going to move up and down. 
And again, as I said, I'm keeping this short today. Uh, I apologize for that. I actually spent most of yesterday working on a different video that I was planning on loading today, but I decided to go over these here today because of that one news story that I got from, um, from my uh, trade journal there dealing with United Precious Metal Refining, which I thought was kind of an important fact here today, so I decided to continue with this particular uh, video today, and the other one I worked on yesterday, I will load another day. Okay, folks, um, I, as I tell you all the time, I sure do appreciate all of you. We've become a great little community here, and I hope we keep on expanding that, and I hope we keep on getting... Um, ideas and thoughts from all of you because it helps all of us as we do this. Uh, so again, thank you. I appreciate all that. And to all my new subscribers that have um, recently joined in here and joined, some of you have joined into the conversation and I appreciate that and I appreciate each and every one of you. And I just want to say, I hope you're all staying safe out there. Uh, I hope you're trying to keep from being out in the public as much as possible because uh, I don't want to see any of you getting sick. Okay, folks, I hope you have a great day. And until next time, take care of yourself. This is GD. Have a great day.